friends good morning welcome to my three's kitchen so today recipe is a spicy yummy gravy which is with our turkey berry also called as sundaka vattakolambu in tamil so this is an awesome recipe which can be kept for a week's time and we can have it with hot rice along with papad and your favorite side dish it will go just like that so yummy and tasty the main ingredients to do our turkey berry curries of course are dry turkey berry which is available in all the supermarkets and also in the provision stores along with that we have taken all the following ingredients for seasoning i'll be using chana dal peppercorns urad dal fenugreek seeds mustard seeds cumin seeds dhania seeds that is a coriander seeds followed with shallots chopped tomatoes garlic cords fresh curry leaves red chili as a fortita the this gravy will taste very very nice when we do it with gingerly oil so you have to ensure you do it with gingerly oil and it goes for a week's time fresh and nice so let us get into our turkey berry curry which is also called as sundaka patta kolam so friends the first step to do our turkey berry curry is i am adding 1 and 1/2 tablespoon of gingerly oil gingerly oil is getting heated i am going to add 1 and 1/2 tablespoon of chana dal along with one by one all the ingredients so followed with chana dal i am going to add 1 and 1/2 tablespoon of urad dal you need to fry everything finely along with peppercorns as per the spice level you want it because we are going to add chili also do not miss to add fenugreek seeds that is the main ingredient for any kara kolumbu which is also called the spicy gravy so i have added fenugreek seeds along with 2 tablespoon of cumin seeds followed with all the above said ingredient we are going to add coriander seeds let us give it a slight toss now i am going to add 1 and 1/2 tablespoon of coriander seeds along with all this we are going to add the required red chili if you want it for the color you can add the kashmiri red chili but i am just adding the plain red chili as per the spice level you can add the quantity i'm going to add around 7 to 8 numbers you can see slightly become brown in color at this stage i'm going to add the required red chili so i've added around 7 to 8 so now once the red chili is slightly getting heated i'm going to shift the entire content into a mixer jar So once it's slightly cool, we need to grind it to a coarse powder, and let's see what is next. So, friends, I'm taking the same kadai. Uh, I have again added one and a half tablespoon of gingerly oil. So, in that, we are going to first toss our garlic cords. Along with garlic cords, we are going to add our onion shallots. Try to have the actual onion; it will give a very good taste. So now we are going to add our shallots around ten numbers. And the shallots and garlic is slightly tossed. At this stage, I am going to add the chopped tomatoes one number. Fry everything well. So friends, you can find the onions and the garlic and the tomatoes are nicely tossed. So let us off the stove. and let it get cooled so meanwhile let us see what is next we are going to first grind this to a coarse powder and then let's see what is next we have done it to a coarse powder so this is how we need to grind it now in this powder we have to add our fried onions tomatoes and the garlic so i'm just going to add that and again we need to grind it to a fine paste so let us add that when this gets nicely mixed with the masalas it will give a very very nice taste to the overall gravy which enhances the smell so now let us make it to a fine paste 
our mixture is almost ready yes the vapor is just coming so this is a paste that we got out of our tossed spices and our onions and garlic and the tomato so let us see what is next using the same kadai i have added again 2 tablespoon of gingerly oil i am going to add the dry turkey berry seeds into it once you fry it and then add it to the main gravy it will enhance the taste so that is the reason we are frying it in the oil and this turkey berry is very very good for health it purifies the blood it's very good for diabetic and heart patients so please to try this recipe at least 15 days once and give it to your loved ones our turkey beef berry is nicely fried now i'm going to shift this to another vessel and let's see what is next added again 2 tablespoon of gingerly oil i'm going to add 1 tablespoon of mustard seeds along with mustard seeds i'm going to add fenugreek seeds do not miss to add fenugreek seeds that is the one which is very important in this gravy it enhances the smell so along with this i'm going to add a bunch of curry leaves So has the curry leaves everything got tossed i'm going to add shallots along with few garlic chopped so now i'm going to add two pinch of asafoetida fry it nicely you can find all the onions everything is nicely tossed it's giving such a nice aroma at this stage i'm going to add the tamarind extract the tamarind of a lemon size would do so now we are going to add the tamarind extract to the above mixture you can add the tamarind extract as per the quantity you require if you wanted more gravy you can add it accordingly so as it's getting boiled i'm going to add the required amount of salt and pinch of turmeric powder pinch of turmeric powder followed with the required amount of salt so now we need to close the lid and cook the tamarind extract still the raw smell was all go away we are adding the salt now only so add it as per the correct taste and close the lid and cook for around 7 to 8 minutes once the raw smell of tamarind juice goes let's see what is next how is our gravy getting boiled yes it's nicely got boiled at this stage we have grated our fresh spices which is here we are just going to add the required amount of that i'm diluting our fresh paste in little water so that we do not get any lumps formed in our actual gravy so i've just added little water and made it to a fine paste i'm just going to mix our fresh grounded paste into our gravy this is just to ensure there are no lumps formed so now we need to boil it again for 7 to 8 minutes till all the smell goes and you can find the oil getting separated then let us see what is next so friends our gravy is nicely getting boiled at this stage we are going to add our turkey berry seeds into it and we need to cook for next 5 minutes so that all the gravy gets into our turkey berry and gives us a nice taste so let us cook for next 5 minutes and off the stove friends our turkey berry gravy is come out very nicely you can find our turkey berry is nicely getting cooked it's nicely almost cooked because we had already fried in the oil as well so now it's ready to be had hot hot with hot white rice along with ghee it will taste yummy so let us have it this friends here goes our spicy yummy turkey berry gravy please do try this recipe watch my video share my video subscribe to my channel we'll come up with another yummy recipe shortly happy cooking stay safe bye bye